welcome s n i what is it nucleophilic substitution but i intramolecular right so here another way to remember it is internally things are happening okay so here let's welcome this intramolecular nucleophilic substitution in which there is one particular reaction which is very important if the examiner ask you this kind of a reaction for example we are starting with an alcohol right this kind of an alcohol and the moment you see socl2 you can see reaction is taking place in such a way that you are going to get more of the product the yield of the product is very very high for obvious reason let me also give you the obvious reasons here that we get the product which is now a halogen attached in place of oh of course no way you can see the nucleophile as such written so where is this nucleophile coming it's coming after there is the attack of this oxygen on the sulfur imagine socl2 you know that oxygen is more negative and out of the two sulfur and oxygen oxygen is more electronegative sulfur is more electropositive so attack of this oxygen happens on the sulfur and you can imagine what can be formed is a group which is like this carbon oxygen and here we have s o minus coming in let's say and cl and cl right if this comes back the cl minus is produced so basically the nucleophile is coming from the intramolecule from within the molecule okay so this is a way to remember it though i will not get into the exact mechanism here i will get into what is required for me to explain there is substitution happening the major important reaction that you need to know is this reaction of alcohol with socl2 and you're getting the product which is a halide product please understand that if we are starting with a configuration let's say s and talk about the stereochemistry of sni also if let's say we are starting with the configuration s you can see the product also has the configuration s so if you know sn1 properly if you know sn2 properly if i know the stereochemistry of sn1 yes ma'am told partial racemization here sn1 sorted sn2 inversion okay sorted nowhere sn1 or sn2 we have seen retention so far only retention here retention is happening okay so imagine this whole group leaving and on the same side the nucleophile is attacking so retention of configuration point number 1 to be noted my lord so reaction nucleophile what is the source of nucleophile it's coming from within the molecule internally intramolecular hence and you can see the product which is getting formed in this reaction is so2 so2 is a gaseous species and if you have a fair sense of the uh, lee shatlier principle if you remember if i'm talking about let's say a equilibria right and you know that if some gaseous species is there if it it is released okay and goes out of the container the product side is decreasing so reaction keeps going forward and like i told you that it is a very good reaction which gives you a major yield of the product which is the halide product that you get using socl2 that's why industrially also it's a favorable method to use the mechanism used here is sni the nucleophile is within the intramolecule within the molecule hence intramolecular and the stereochemistry is retention of configuration if we are starting with an optically active compound whatever configuration is of the starting material the product getting formed is also of the same configuration also point to be noted here is the by products which are getting formed so socl2 this is also gas and moreover hcl that is produces also in the gaseous form right so moral of the story it's a very good mechanism it's a very good reaction for the formation of the halides okay but let me tell you that if you understood retention of configuration whereas the examiner is pointing to inversion happening and all that you see is okay you're starting with an alcohol 
you're adding to it SOCl2, you're getting SO2, you're also getting HCl, but the examiner hints towards the in, you know, inversion of configuration. In, you know, inversion is something, let's say examiner is writing in bold. Then what? Then you are missing on something which must would be written somewhere near the arrow. What would it be? Pyridine. Please see what, what will happen if the same reaction is carried out in the presence of pyridine. The mechanism takes a different mechanism altogether. Right? The whole reaction takes a different mechanism altogether. And if let's say we are talking about in the presence of pyridine, now what happens is the nucleophile which was getting formed, you know, intramolecularly is somehow, you know, eaten up by this pyridine molecule, right? So, what we also need to know is the configuration is changing and the moment you see a configuration getting inverted, inversion of configuration, now, by now, SN2 must start clicking the doors, huh? Of course. Inversion of configuration, now we know, okay, yes. We're talking about SN2. Retention, only one. We're talking about SNI. Inversion as well as retention, a little more inversion as compared to retention. And we have somewhat equimolar ratio. We're talking about racemization. And when we talk about SN1, we know we are talking about partial racemization because a little more inverted product is there. So when we are talking about the same reaction that you just saw, as an example of SNI, but in the presence of pyridine, please see the pyridine here. The six-membered ring, which is just a sister of benzene. The only difference is at the place of one of the carbons, we have nitrogen. And it's a base, right? There is this lone pair. And if we have possibility of nitrogen, right? Accepting one of the H+, plus, it will become, it will form four bonds. So plus will be coming and immediately Cl minus will also come here, right? So as to balance out the charges, there's a plus, there is a minus. So pyridinium chloride is getting formed. You can observe it here along with this SO2. And what is happening is if we are starting with S, the configuration has inverted. We are getting R. Again, we do not have to go into the mechanism right here. But it is important for you to understand that SN2 is at play when the same reaction of the particular alcohol that we have taken, we take it with SOCl2, the same reaction that we saw for SNI. But the only thing changes is we are also taking pyridine in the solution, in the whole reaction mixture. Then in the presence of pyridine, what is happening is SN2 is the mechanism at play. How do we know we saw the, con the inversion of configuration happening? The product that was getting formed was an inverted product, giving us a whole lot of sense that, okay, SN2 is the mechanism that has played its role here, right? So please see, important point to be noted here, the same reaction but pyridine inversion.